everybody would be in Thursday afternoon, March the 22nd, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for race eight on their card this afternoon, 3.46 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mile test on the main dirt track. Phillies and mares, four years old, and upgrades for an optional claiming purse of some $69,000. Contenders number five, Cash for Clunkers. Number three, Coco Ecolo. Number two, Lemon Tiger. And number one, Stephanie Jane. Number five, Cash for Clunkers, the overall speed and pace profile leader in this optional claiming field, racing at today's distance of a mile on the dirt. Has hit the board in each of her four career starts to date, winning twice, including a power run winner last time out. Jockey Alan Garcia and trainer Richard Violette Jr. send her to the post this afternoon. They fit the board with 60% of more than 100 entry saddles a team to date, with their 26% win rate producing a positive 21% return on investment in the process. Number three, Coco Ecolo, a 4 to 1 shot, drops in class by four track master units, has hit the board in three of her last five starts. <clears throat> Race 8 summary, number 5, Cash for Clunkers, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number 3, Coco Ecolo, number 2, Lemon Tiger, and number 1, Stephanie Jane, 5-3-2-1 in the 8th from Aqueduct. Go to Gulfstream Park for race 3, 2.05 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Eight and a half for a long route test on the dirt track. Three-year-old fillies race for an optional claiming prize of $62,750. Contenders number one, Awesome Bell. Number three, Gold Rush Girl. Number five, We Party. And number six, French Politics. Number one, Awesome Bell, a four-to-one shot on top drops in class by eight track master units. Is the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. It's turned in power run performances in four of her last five, including a power run win in her fifth race back. Number three, Gold Rush Girl, also drops in classes. The pace profile leader has hit the board in four straight, winning in her third race back, comes off a power run show finisher last time out. Race three, summary number one, Awesome Bell, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number three, Gold Rush Girl, number five, We Party, and number six, French Politics, one, three, five, six, in the third from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race seven, the eight to one shot, number four, Miss Hannah Rose, a track master plus power pony qualifier, nice overall speed for tonight's four and a half furlong sprint. Penn National Race Course, race four, the eight to one shot, number six, Downright Joyous qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, drops in class by nine units, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, racing at tonight's distance of a mile on the dirt. So handicapping from both the Big A, Aqueduct, and Gulfstream Park on a Thursday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.